Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will cover how to orchestrate a data load tool or DLT project using Dagster. Orchestrating data load tools with Dagster can make your ETL process smoother and more efficient. Dagster provides a flexible and Pythonic way to automate complex data pipelines. With features like easy debugging, error handling, and visual insights into job execution. It's a fantastic choice for data teams aiming for reliability and control. We'll explore how to use Dagster to schedule and monitor a data load pipeline. We will dive into core Dagster concepts and walk through an example pipeline we built previously. Data Load Tool or DLT allows us to load data from various sources to a myriad of destinations. We can automate all the data engineering tasks using DLT. We have covered it in detail over many videos. I will leave the link to DLT playlist in the description below. This command creates a new directory named Daxter FX Rate API. This will be the root folder for the Daxter project focused on exchange rate data. We navigate into the newly created Daxter FX Rate API directory. This command creates a virtual environment named ENV. A virtual environment isolates the dependencies for this project, preventing conflicts with other Python projects on the system. This command activates the virtual environment. Next, we install the required libraries in this virtual environment. This may take a while, so we will come back once the installation process is complete. Let's create a new Daxter project and scaffold it with basic structure. This will generate the default files for Daxter that we will use as a starting point for our data pipeline. In the root directory, we create a .env file. .env files are used to hold project-related environment variables. This is the directory where the pyproject.toml file exists. In this file, we copy the Postgres database credentials. Inside the FX rate directory, we create the following folders, assets, resources, and DLT. We copy our FX rate DLT pipeline under the DLT folder. We create the init file in this directory and paste the code for the DLT pipeline. We convert the API call to a function. This function returns a dictionary. Let's add a DLT resource decorator to this function. This decorator registers getData as a data resource, making it accessible for further data operations as part of a data pipeline. Let's define a DLT resource class under the resources file in an init file. This is a Dagster configurable resource. This class allows us to reuse pipeline code inside a Dagster asset. We create an FX pipeline as a Dagster asset. It takes a configurable DLT resource. In the asset, we use the configurable resource to create a DLT pipeline by using an instance of the DLT resource. The DLT resource get data is passed to the create pipeline function. The create pipeline function normalizes the data and ingests it into the Postgres database. Next step is to create the definition in an init file under the FX rate folder. Here we import the assets and the DLT resource. Using the load assets from modules, we load the assets. We put together a job definition. Now we create a schedule object for this. This will help us run the job on a schedule. We create an instance of the definition object. Definitions is a way to organize and register assets, jobs, and resources that a Dagster instance will use. This can include all the components required to build, run, and monitor a workflow. The resources dictionary defines external resources that the pipeline needs to interact with. Resources in Dagster represent connections to external systems, such as databases. Each resource can then be accessed within the pipeline steps. Let's save all of our files and give it a try. We launch the Daxter web server. It is available on the following URL. We can view the Daxter job 
and the asset in the web server. We can select and materialize the asset. We can select the unique run ID to view the run details. It seems our pipeline ran into an error. Let's view the full error message to troubleshoot this issue. The database credentials are missing for the DLT pipeline. We need the .dlt folder in the base directory of our Dagster project. I will copy it from the API DLT project. This includes the secrets file that contains the database details for the DLT pipeline. Here is a preview of the secrets file. This contains the destination database credentials. Let's stop our Daxter web server with Ctrl plus C key and relaunch it, so it can pick up the changes in the project. Let's navigate back to the asset, select it, and materialize it once again. Let's view the run details. We can see progress of the pipeline, runtime details, and all the logs associated with this run. This time around I see statuses in green. This means our pipeline has successfully completed and the asset is materialized. Here we have the DLT pipeline's information. One package loaded data to the Postgres into incremental schema. We can open the Postgres database and expand the incremental schema. We should see the FX table. Query the table to make sure our table is loaded successfully. We have data populated in this table, so our pipeline successfully extracted and loaded the data. We have a schedule in place for this pipeline. It is going to run 9 m Eastern Time every day. So this is how we can orchestrate our DLT pipelines via Daxter. It provides a neat UI, rich logging and scheduling mechanism to monitor and trigger our pipelines. This is all on Daxter for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.